Suppose you have a random variable x and you know its distribution, and you would like to know the distribution of y, which is say x squared, a function of x. The plan is to start with the density of x, get the CDF of x, CDF of y, density of y. That's how they're related. We'll start with the CDF of y and work backwards. The CDF of y is the probability that big Y is less than or equal to little y. But big Y is x squared. I deliberately chose an easy example where x is positive. So if x squared is less than or equal to y, that means that x is less than or equal to square root of y. But that probability is the CDF with square root of y plugged in. Since x is uniform, we know its density function is a constant, in this case, one half from zero to two. If we integrate that, we get the CDF, which would be one half x on the same interval. Now to plug the square root of y into that, we get one half square root y, or square root y between zero and two, which means y is between zero and four. Finally, we can take the derivative of one half square root y to get one over four square root y for y between zero and four, and that finally is the density function for y. If I had chosen x to have negative and positive values, like say uniform from minus one to one, then this expression would have been slightly more complicated. x squared less than or equal to y would mean that x has to be between negative square root y and square root y, which means we would have two CDFs of x subtracted. But that's not a big difference from the example we already did.